Hi, my name's Abby Parker. I am a neighbourhood manager for Newport City Homes, covering the Pill Ward. A big part of my role is to deal with antisocial behaviour within our communities. And I wanted to go through a week in the life of an antisocial behaviour officer um, so that you could get an overview of the type of things that I deal with. So Monday this week was kicked off with an urgent CASM, which is a multi-agency meeting called for by Gwent Police. This was in relation to a customer of ours who is deemed to be very, very vulnerable and uh, a number of persons who are well known to the police had allegedly moved in with this customer, um, taken over his property and were doing all sorts of uh, criminal behaviour within the property, including drug use, drug dealing, sex working and antisocial behaviour. So as one of the actions from this uh, emergency meeting that was called, we agreed that Newport City Homes and Gwent Police would carry out a joint visit to the property later on that week. Um, also, uh, later on this day, I uh, went down into Pearl to place some vehicle notices on um, two vehicles that were untaxed and uninsured that were on our land and attracting antisocial behaviour and causing a nuisance to the neighbouring residents. Tuesday I had an office day, but that didn't stop the ASB. Um, Tuesday consisted of ringing round a number of residents who had reported antisocial behaviour to us, including various things such as fly dipping, um, one case regarding noise nuisance between neighbours, uh, one resident reporting that there were gangs of people congregating within the communal area of their block, smoking cannabis, propping the doors open and urinating in the block. Um, I also listened to a number of noise app recordings uh, where various customers were experiencing noise nuisance from their neighbours and I also issued a number of acceptable behaviour contracts to uh, various customers who had been identified as perpetrators of fly tipping on our land. An acceptable behaviour contract is, is basically a reiteration of the terms of the tenancy agreement and advises that customer that we will not condone uh, fly tipping on our land and that any further evidence found that they have, uh, they have fly tipped on our land will result in, in further legal and possibly enforcement action against their tenancies. So Wednesday was my day where I was off to meet the police to visit the vulnerable customer that we had discussed at Monday's meeting. On the way to that appointment, the police rang me about another issue in Pill, whereby uh, a gang of individuals had overnight vandalised uh, an area of Newport City Homes um, land, uh, broken through some fencing, and the police were quite concerned because this area is a hotspot for antisocial behaviour, for drug dealing, for prostitution, sex working um, and very recently the police have been finding a lot of reports of knives and weapons being stored in the area. So it's quite important that we went down to make sure that the area was secured off and no one could access it. So I made a detour on the way and um, took some photographs and sent that over to our maintenance team to, uh, to get on to secure the area. So I then uh, went over to uh, visit our vulnerable customer with the police. Uh, we attended the, the block and first of all, we did a general letter drop to the neighbouring residents, urging them to report to the police um, and to Newport City Homes if they're experiencing any issues. We then knocked the door of the, the customer in question who um, the door was answered by a, a female, one of the females that we knew um, to be one of the undesirable people that weren't supposed to be in the property. The customer was there, he maintained that they were friends of his and he was happy to have them in the property. Um, and basically he was advised that we weren't happy with them being there. We were well aware that they were involved with um, various uh, criminal aspects and uh, if there was any drug use dealing or sex working in his property or any antisocial behaviour affecting the neighbours, then we would have no choice other than to take action against him because he is very much responsible for his visitors and his occupants. Um, this did uh, had to be followed up with a number of um, support referrals we made to the um, vulnerable persons uh, cuckoo watch team within Gwent Police um, and uh, also 
to a number of other teams within Newport City Homes, including the income team. Uh, further to this, I then did a, a visit to another area in Pill where uh, fly tipping is uh, very rife at the moment. I did a door knock whilst I was there and um, spoke to some residents, which resulted in um, a new case being brought to my attention, whereby a customer uh, disclosed to me that she was victim of some quite severe racial harassment from a neighbour. Um, this again resulted in me, uh, when I got back to the office, making various uh, support referrals, making a police report and opening a case. And um, I'm now dealing with this customer who is the alleged perpetrator of a hate crime. Thursday, I started the day by installing noise monitoring equipment to a customer's property. Uh, this customer is experiencing noise nuisance from his neighbour, excessively loud television. Uh, that was followed by a visit to an 89-year-old lady who is a homeowner, not a customer of Newport City Homes, but she is experiencing issues with um, a Newport City Homes customer next door who is a... Uh, uh, Use, misuses alcohol and uh, other substances, has again has undesirable visitors to the property, has been verbally abusive to neighbours and has also stolen their bins and their waste receptacles. Um, so there was a visit carried out to her um, and further follow up uh, actions that I took home with me to, to deal with from that. Um, I also then visited another customer who is living in a flat who's made allegations that the neighbour above her is persistently throwing buckets of water over the balcony onto her balcony and wanted me to deal with that. Friday, a uh, quick visit to uh, the estate to check that some vehicles have been removed. These were vehicles that I'd placed notices on earlier that week. Those uh, were not removed, therefore I have had to follow that up by trying to make contact with the vehicle owners. So all in all, as you can see, my dealings with antisocial behaviour can be anything from very low level neighbour nuisance, um, you know, noise nuisance from a TV, uh, petty squabbles between neighbours um, and, and low level sort of fly tipping and issues and, um, and such like, to very serious high level uh, antisocial behaviour, including gangs, drug dealing, drug use, weapons, serious assaults, uh, serious organised crime groups. Um, and we do have a very wide range of antisocial behaviour tools and powers to remedy situations. Um, we very, very strongly rely on the close partnership relationship that we have with Gwent Police and other agencies. Um, and we work um, particularly closely with the police to keep our communities safe. Uh, every case of ASB is unique and there is no one um, box, one tick box or one solution fits all. So every day is a problem solving day for myself and my colleagues who deal with antisocial behaviour. I hope that this has given you a small insight into our world and the life of a neighbourhood manager dealing with antisocial behaviour. Thank you very much for your time.